at the end of the tunnel. That's the reaction from first frontline workers in our state to get the COVID vaccine. And now key hospitals across Connecticut are gearing up to receive shipments today. News 8's Samaya Hernandez is live at St. Francis Hospital for us this morning with a look at what's to come. Hi, Samaya. Good morning. Good morning, Laura. Yes, St. Francis is expecting to receive 2,000 doses of Pfizer's vaccine later this morning, and they will prioritize those patients that interact with healthcare workers. But you can imagine there's going to be a similar sentiment here as there was yesterday at Hartford Hospital when they got vaccinated. A sense of relief for these healthcare workers because this is the first time that they can be on the offense against this deadly virus. Now, Hartford Hospital was among the first in the nation to administer that vaccine yesterday to nurses, respiratory specialists and doctors. Now here at Trinity Health of New England, they have some extremely cold freezers and a plan to coordinate the first and second doses, which remember they need to be administered 21 days apart. Now state health officials expect that everyone in that first 1A priority group will be vaccinated by the end of January. We are now in a place where we can say this is a day of hope. This is a day of change. We have to make sure that Mrs. the proverbial Mrs. Jones gets her first and second job from the Pfizer batch or Mr. Mr. Jones first and second from the Moderna batch. We cannot cross contaminate the, contaminate the strategies. And again, St. Francis is expecting to receive 2,000 doses today. Now, Governor Lamont gets a lot of questions about when he will be vaccinated. He's in the 1B group, and he says he's waiting for his turn. Live in Hartford, Samaya Hernandez.